guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Pater with you on this very stormy, crazy weather Wednesday afternoon. We are going to do our best here in t you know, to film what we want to film uh, this whole scenario, which is we are loading up Cochise and we are taking him to the vet to be neutered. We made the decision to neuter him. I am not going to breed him. If you followed along, you know that we have had Cochise two years now. It's been uh, a, a very long road of training and he's doing wonderful. And we had thought about breeding him uh, and we talked about it and we were in line to get a new puppy last year. And, but when the Great Pyrenees mama had all her babies, they were all males. So there was no, we were like, what? It's, a, <laughs> it's crazy, but so we sort of took that as a sign to wait. And so we were gonna have him neutered back in the late summer, early fall. Uh, he was going to be over 18 months then. I felt that was a comfortable age. For a lot of the LGDs um, that you see, a lot of folks will tell you maybe 12 months or so um, to have them uh, fixed. And so we were, you know, not too far beyond that. But then my husband fell very ill with his heart condition. So that threw everything off. But we are in line to get a new LGD next week, Miss Cora from Tiramar Farms. She is part Anatolian Shepherd. You should see the mama, honey. She is gorgeous. She is brindled. And then the sire is a full great Pyrenees. So we're very excited to get her. I have made the conscientious decision to have him neutered. I, I'm, not a, I'm not a dog breeder. And I personally feel that with a livestock guardian dog and the chances of him trying to get out to roam, um, for the chances of him to get out and try to roam with for mating purposes, I mean, they'll even go... They'll mate with anything, y'all. And uh, we just want to keep him safe and keep him as home as much as possible. We haven't had this issue yet, obviously, but I want to prevent it. Okay, so I'm holding my arm up here. So we have a new dog coming next week. She is still a pup. And the thing is, is, you know, she will be set to go into heat at some point. We want to keep stress down. We want to keep tension down. Um, an animal like, such as this, especially if they go into heat, can be a totally different animal. So we want to be able to control all of that. Okay. So I'm not a breeder. And uh, the dogs would not necessarily be 100% here. Not that I obviously have a problem with that, but I've just really thought about it and I've prayed about it and I really don't want the responsibility of having to find, you know, eight to 12 homes. Um, I, I would end up keeping the dogs, y'all, because I just, <laughs> you know, I'm just so, I, I, I mean, I've even given away chicken eggs to people and I'm like, I hope they do a good job with my babies and they haven't even incubated the eggs yet. <laughs> so... You know, I just want to know that I've done the right thing for everyone involved here, and we think that's the best thing for him, uh, to keep him safe, keep her safe, keep tensions down, and for them to focus on their job, which is to help protect our farm animals, right? So, we're going to load them up. It has, uh, we have, we've had tornado watches today, and I'm in between storms right now, so let's just pray it's calm, and let's just pray he doesn't get sick, because <laughs> it's going to be a good drive in this rainstorm. Pray for me. Let's see how it goes. Okay, woohoo! We got him out. He did great. All the way, it was thundering and lightning. It's starting to clear out a little bit back there. I don't know what you can see. So, he's in, he's in here. We're ready to go. We're packing up. And uh, he did great all the way till he got to the door and it was like windy and all that. And he was like, whoa, sister. I don't go out this door. But we got him in. He's a little nervous. Go figure. So we're going to take him and we're going to drop him off. I don't know how much footage you'll see at the vet because, again, we're taking a livestock guardian dog from his beloved red barn and pasture. Not only are we taking him to a vet, but we're taking him to a new vet, foreign territory. And I've let them know so they are fully aware. So uh, the good thing about these folks is they're really good with these types of dogs because that's what's in the area and that's why I didn't take him to Knoxville or anything like that I wanted to stick with a very reputable um, rural in a sense a, a very reputable but reputable but yet rural veterinarian that works with animals like this miss homestead lady she hooks me up what can I say okay buddy what are you doing you got muddy paws we're wet thank goodness for my red chicken sloggers today all right let's get driving guys wish us luck Look. Hey, baby. 
I love you. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Hey, I brushed you this morning to try to make you look pretty. It doesn't work very often, Dub. <laughs> doesn't last long, does it, buddy? Are you okay? All right. You're going to be okay. You're my buddy. Yes, you're my buddy. You're going to be just fine. Barn's going to be just fine. You'll be back tomorrow even evening. Sweet thing. Yes. All right, GC. You're doing good, buddy. You are doing awesome. Yeah. Snap that boy a good picture. Polaroid picture. Awesome. Hey guys, so we are back, letting you know that we are on our way to go get Cochise. The video got interrupted yesterday, and let me tell you why real quick. So, we drove two vehicles, and I was driving my older minivan that Cochise was in, because obviously in case he had an accident, uh, which we had stuff down, the towels and the comforter and everything, and puppy pads and all that down, but in case he had an accident of some sort, you know, it would be in the older vehicle. So we're driving and I was on the phone literally with Starry and my husband clicked in and I was like, why are you calling me? He said, do you not see all that smoke? I was like, what? So we had to go and, and literally and pull off with the dog. Luckily we were uh, in an area where we, uh, a place up near Crossfield where we have a lot of work done on our vehicles if we need it. So we went straight there. So. We had to transfer Cochise over to the new, newer minivan. Very stressful. <laughs> so long, long story very short, we got him up there, we got him in. I've already called them today. In fact, we're on our way now. They said he is doing great in recovery. So I will show you all that next, but I wanted to show you. So just to have a little moment here, wanted to show you. Mr. Moses, real quick, we'll have a video coming up on him. He is doing great with the girls. And also, you never know what's going to happen on your homestead. You can be driving right along with your great pe your polar bear right in the car. It was so funny because I told Starry, I said, I've got this polar bear over my shoulder. She's like, what? So I was like, the, my, Cochise. And then she's like, oh, yeah. You can be driving right along with your polar bear on your shoulder and boom, there goes your vehicle. That's why I tell you to keep a squirrel fund and I tell people don't necessarily quit those day jobs just because you get into homesteading because you're always gonna have unexpected expenses. More about that later, it's another video. Let's go get my boy. And there's my other buddy right there. Doing good, let's go get Cochise. Hey, say hi. Good job. Good job. All right, guys. We're leaving. Oh, there's my finger. So, he did really well. He's uh, doing fine. He will be on some antibiotics. We're going to keep him actually in a cage in the house just till morning to keep him stable for temperature. Just to keep it short and sweet, we'll do a we'll keep you posted on this. Um, we didn't get an accurate weight on him because apparently once he figured out that he was, you know, at a vet office and a little bit cornered, he became they said not aggressive. He was great in terms of they were never aggressive. Uh, he was never aggressive or hurt anybody, but he would give major forewarnings. So, and they said that's what they do. So, you know, you just have to respect that. So, he's laying down. He's fine. He was very excited to see us. So, we are getting him home and uh, we're going to be paying very close attention to him. We'll keep you posted on how he's doing. Say bye, everybody. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's get baby home. We'll talk more about this later. Appreciate you watching. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. We got a good little ride here with both vehicles. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. And I know, um, you know, this is part of it, guys. We wanna keep him safe from roaming. We want to make sure that we are not overpopulating the, uh, the puppy world. And uh, we just feel this is what's best for him and us. I have neutered and spayed all of my animals, uh, whether they were uh, you know strays or whatever I just feel a personal responsibility to do that again we had talked about breeding him and it is more important to, for us to keep him safe um, and to keep uh, Cora safe and uh, keep ourselves safe so that is the route that we have chosen with our livestock guardian dog so we'll talk to you soon it's gonna be good he's excited that we're with him all right we'll talk to you later guys take care
I'm back. You got some thought in your eye, baby. All right, guys. <laughs> We're having a pajama party. We're several hours later. We finally got home. We've got him a huge crate set up in our bedroom. That's right. That's right. We want to leave him in tonight so that his body temperature regulates. Uh, because, you know, obviously he's been on a sedative. So tomorrow uh, he'll go back to hopefully after uh, you know, pushing lunchtime, late breakfast time, we'll have him back out in his normal routine. We have the barn cleaned up. He will be on an antibiotic for five days. Oh, sweetie. He is resting. This is very, very good. Because I will tell you that he got sick in the car. Which, you know, that's to be that's to be expected. Hey, buddy. So when we got home, he needs a good brushing, obviously. Lay down, baby. Just rest, sweetie. Um, it's good. He's been quite alert. He's been up in the seats. He came in the house. Um, but he was, he got stressed out when I left him. You know, he's in this cage, but when I leave the room and shut the door or shut the cage, he tends to, he goes into high alert mode. He's not barking or anything. So I gave him a t-shirt so I could go shower and clean up the kitchen, switch laundry, and my husband and everybody shut down the barn. And uh, I've come back in here. I took me a quick shower, put on my sassy pajamas. <laughs> And we're going to read about Great Pyrenees. We're going to watch some Cold Mountain. I've got my computer over here. We're just going to relax. And everybody's, I told everybody, we're going to be low-key. We're going to be chill. Yeah, he likes that. So this is good to see. So he's finally relaxing. Um, he tended to get on, uh, he was not aggressive at the vet office, but they did as little to him as possible which that is why I went to this vet, because they understand livestock guarding dogs. They understand that this boy is used to being in the barn, in the pasture, with just a few people. Um, he has been on car rides, he has been to the vet, but because he has become, you know, he's coming to maturity, folks, and um, he is very good at what he does, and he's getting even better at it. So we're gonna read, I told him, <laughs> I said, honey, you wanna read like Great Pyrenees? So I'm sitting here, um, literally right next to him i'm probably going to sleep next to him right over here it's no big deal and uh, we'll be cozy tonight because it's gonna be cold and we're gonna have them brushed up so so everything went great so guys thanks for watching this is our boat this is my boy right here i'm telling you i don't i i told my uh I, my husband again today that i don't ever foresee me going the rest of my life without having a great pyrenees these are just fabulous fabulous dogs and we look forward to adding miss cora uh, next week. So he'll be a big, big brother to her and a good big brother. So he is good. He is resting. What you are seeing is not what you've been seeing the past two to three hours. So he's finally relaxing and resting. So he's with mom and her t-shirt and her books. Thanks for watching guys. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. We'll keep you posted on Chase here and uh, <laughs> this big old polar bear. Thanks for watching guys. Y'all have a great, great night. Yeah, he's my buddy. He's just...